Hi, I'm Bulbasaur. And I'm Squirtle. And this is Pokemon... What the f*** happened to the intro? Squirtle, nothing happened to the floor at... Wait, what? What are you talking about? I'm talking about this! <laughs> Well, I think it's reasonably obvious, and by that I mean incredibly obvious, that that was Michael's new video intro that includes an updated logo and character art. But he never put a video intro in front of our stuff before! I suppose he's changing his branding scheme a bit, but it's not a big deal, Squirtle. Our series is still on his channel, so it's technically still MNJTV. Bulbasaur, it's not just that it's there, he... He stole our song! What song? The song that plays at the end of all of our videos? The Pokemon Talk theme song? Poop? Why did you just say poop? No, not poop. Poop. It's the name of our theme song! Don't be ridiculous, Squirtle. Our theme song is not named... What are you doing with that laptop? Proving you wrong. If we go to YouTube and search Pokemon Talk theme song, the first result is Robbie Z's song... Poop. Is that really... <laughs> All right, all right, pause it. While that song- Call it by its name. While Poop may have originally been our theme song, Michael has a right to use it how he pleases. And if he wants to make it the intro theme for every video on his entire channel, he can do that. That is his branding choice. But what about our branding choice, Bulbasaur? Now it's not special to us anymore! <laughs> well, I don't think we need to worry too much about our branding, Squirtle. We're the most popular series on his channel. We'll be fine. Good point. We're killing it compared to those lame Let's Plays. Yeah, seriously, who would watch 30 minutes of Mike just playing a game? Sounds super boring. Well, I think they're great! Ah! What the? Umbreon, what are you- You guys were dissing Mike's Let's Plays, so I came over to give my two cents. They're pretty good. Wait! I just realized! Does this mean we've already covered our evolution episode requirement for the season? Nope. Gotta have a new one. Ah, oh, shenotic. Umbreon, we'd been discussing it for ten seconds. How could you have gotten here so quickly? Well, I was just down the hall. After all, I do live here. You what?! Yeah, the floor tentacles were drowning me too much at the Eevee Bros house. This place is safer. Hmm, are you sure about that? What? Well, just look down at your feet. Those look like some floor tentacles to me. What? No! No, that can't be! Ah! The floor tentacles are drowning me! say something about summoning the power of the floor tentacles back in episode 38? And are you really trying to apply logic to something Umbreon said? Fair enough. That was really clever though, Squirtle. Nice work. Nice work with what? Pretending to see floor tentacles to scare Umbreon off. Oh. Haha. <laughs> yes, right. Uh, yes, pretending to see them. Yeah. Thanks. Bulbasaur? Anyways guys, today on Pokemon Talk, we actually don't have a very special guest, but we do have someone very special to introduce. Thanks to our enhanced funds due to last episode's brand deal, we were able to afford hiring a new member of the team, our first ever Pokemon Talk correspondent. Going forward, we'll periodically be able to send this new correspondent to various destinations to get some inside scoops on the hottest stories in the Pokemon and gaming community as a whole. And for their first task, we sent this correspondent out to Boston, Massachusetts for the 2018 PAX East Gaming Convention. Wait, didn't that happen like a month ago? I don't know what you're talking about. Bulbasaur, this is very straightforward. It's May right now. And PAX happened in April. So how could they possibly be- Let's go live to them now. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to our new correspondent, 
Psyduck. Ah, nuts, wrong Psyduck. Just gotta mess with this right here and change the settings and... All right, there we go. We're now patched into the correct Psyduck, who is with us live from PAX East 2018, as clearly shown by the live indicator in the corner. I'll do all you with that, rock-solid logic. Say hello, Psyduck. say I. say I. I. Yay, yay, duck. Ah, oh, heck. I forgot we hired Psyduck, not realizing he can only speak Pokemon. No problem, Bulbasaur. Thanks to our enhanced funds due to last episode's brand deal, we were able to afford some cutting-edge technology that allows us to translate Psyduck's speech. True proof that brand deal money goes straight into necessary and expensive show improvements. Alright, I've got a hold of the super high-tech device here. Something called an... Ooh, cook. Hmm, must be Norwegian. But anyways, all we do here is fiddle with the thingamabob, Activate the Whirlamajiggy over here, buy it flowers and tell it it looks beautiful, and there we go! Should be on! Go ahead, say something, Psyduck! Hi everyone, I'm Psyduck. Here I am. Whoa, 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 okay, I, I think we need to mess with the settings on that a bit. Got it! Hi hey, everyone! Change it back to normal, Squirtle. Ugh, fine. Hi everyone, I'm Psyduck, and I'm here on the scene at PAX East 2018, one of the biggest gaming conventions out there, and one of the most popular gathering sites for Pokemon YouTubers. Today is Thursday, the first day of the four day long convention. Sounds like a lot of fun, Psyduck. Why don't you show us around the convention a bit? Sure. Nintendo has a cool booth showing off Nintendo Switch stuff, especially Splatoon 2 and Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Everyone was terrible at both games. Makes sense to me. Over here we have the tabletop gaming area for people who don't know how to plug things in. And here's the handheld lounge for people who forgot to plug things in hours ago. There's also the classic console gaming lounge where you can play older hit games such as this well-known one. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm digging Pokemon Stadium's title screen graphic. The prominent position of one Pokemon in particular does wonders for it. I agree completely. Now let's hop into a battle. Ho-ho, <laughs> look at me wrecking this scrub. Way to go, son. Hey, wait a second. And crushed it. What a fine in-game specimen we have here. All right, let's move on from that and check out some of the other stuff. Of course. In addition to all the fun things to do, there's plenty of cool people to meet, such as these cool PokeTubers here, all of these cool content creators, plus this idiot who's not even looking at the freaking camera, this supposed PokeTuber who calls himself, I think it's pronounced a drivey, and this random Metapod. Excuse me as I utter a phrase I never thought I would say. Holy crap, that Metapod looks so cool. Add him to our ever-growing list of Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. But now that the last day is winding down, that about wraps it up for our PAX East 2018 coverage. Wait, what? It's been like two minutes. Actually, it's been four days and the convention is over. No, that, that doesn't even make any sense. Psyduck signing off. feel about him. What? During the job interview, you said you thought he was cool. Well, yeah, I did. But back then, I didn't know he was going to be live from an event that happened a month ago and somehow experience and cover that full day event over the span of two minutes while somehow still being live the whole time. I've had enough time travel related headaches this year and i'm not keen on dealing with another time warper squirtle don't be ridiculous psyduck isn't warping time hey guys sorry to interrupt but i was sitting in my cubicle and got a bit confused by this travel itinerary you sent me how am i supposed to travel to pax east when it happened a month ago well our job just got quite a bit stranger. Yeah, who thought I'd end up being the most normal one of all of us? But anyways, I gotta go. I've got some floor tentacle stuff to deal with. Hiya!